Welcome back to uh, Exploring Oregon Ghost Town. Today, um, I am going to be showing you this, um, book. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to say I'm sorry I have not been posting. It's just that I live in Oregon and, like, the... <laughs> A lot of ghost towns, and this applies to all states, but, um, are very, usually very remote, down, uh, very unkept roads and stuff, like NF roads, um, and Bureau of Land Management roads, and we get a ton of snow here, so, especially in those remote areas, which are generally higher up in elevation, so, I'm sorry about when I about that, but when I got this book, I was just like, okay, I can actually make something now. So this, without further ado, this is a book from 1885. Um, it's a school book for the third grade. Um, it's the third, as you can see right here, McAfee's new third electric reader. Um, Will McGuffey is the author of Van Antwerp and Bradco. Bragco, sorry. Um, something <laughs> in New York, I ain't even got the talent to pronounce it. Uh, anyways, so, um, on the back, if we flip the book over, I just want to know how stunning the pages are right there. My camera will focus. Come on, stop being so potato quality. There you go, look at that. It's beautiful. So, um... Corresponding to book three, the third, um, third school year, duh. Um, first lesson in curved lines. Um, so yeah, it is a fourth or third grade, sorry. And spine actually is in pretty good condition. So, oh, it's up to them. New third reader. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get into this book. Um, let's see, can I read this? To Miss Ella Hag. I mean, that might be Hag, but it's most likely Hag. Um, compliments of Chris Hag, or had. Um, so that is probably from one family member to the next, most likely, you know. Um, ha, pa, pa. I'm not even going to question that, that's interesting. Um, F.C. Weber. Probably a publisher or something. Um, flip. Here, electric educational series. Guffy's new third electric reader for young lovers. Well, Lamb Book by H M or W M H McGuffey LLD. That LLD is probably a degree of some sort. New York, the weird thing I can't pronounce, which is probably a town, in Chicago, American Book Company, from the press of Van Antwerp and Bradco, Brad, <laughs> Brag, just weird, Bragco, um, two face, you guys want to read that, it is, you guys want to decode what the heck this is, 
is the only date that I could find in this book. So it's... Mm, <laughs> looks old, so I'm gonna bet this is from 1885. Here's your table of contents. Don't kill the birds. Okay. <laughs> Quill some comes. It's probably a chicken, you know. Oh. No. Bad phone. Oh my lord, I'm sorry. Stop being potato quality. Haste. Oh, haste the school boy. Okay. So, the first, the alarm watch, get up. Oh. Okay, so in the first lesson, oh, exercise, exercise number one, they would have been learning the words. This would have been the first day of third grade. That would be whatever, um, 18, whatever date, 1885, some little kid were locked into this shanty building carrying this book after the little um, metal bell rang so after town probably population of a couple hundred and that was considered big um, locked in the school holding this book sat down in this wooden desk his or her um, wooden desk and opened this book and started reading it all those years ago. It's 2020, so... 105 years ago. Well, no, wait. One thirty-five, sorry. Okay, eight, fate, mate, at, fat, mat, bar, far, car, me, be, he, blah, 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 blah. Jerk. That's great. Not that. That's great. They were teaching the kids derogatory remarks. That's... Morn? Okay. Okay, L-O. See, this is the stuff they were learning back then, like, low. Uh, lo, lo, something. Have you ever seen that word? If you've seen that word... And if you know the definition of it, put it down in the comments for me, please. Um, mourn. It's an interesting word to be teaching a third grader. I mean, like, cube, tube, tune, cubed. Amazing that some kid took this and set it down on his desk all those years ago. Door. Hey, it's me, or those of you who know me in real life. <laughs> BW. Look at these. What are these words? Whoa, blah. Blee, blue, b boy, boy, boy. Words that have also fallen to misuse or disuse. Foy, flu, flow. <laughs> like that, like, flog. 
Huh. And it's basically just the same stuff all the way through, aside from when it gets to these little stories and stuff. Which I suppose I could read. Charles Rose, uh, the young teacher. Charles Rose lived in the country in the country with his father who taught him to read um, and to read and to write. Mr. Rose told his son that when his morning lessons were over, he might amuse himself for one hour as he pleased. There was a river nearby. On its bank stood a hut for the poor for a poor fisherman who lived by selling fish. Really? I didn't know that's what a fisherman did. Uh, sorry. Um, his careful wife kept her wheel going early and late. Both worked very hard to keep themselves above want. That doesn't make sense. Um, but they were greedily troubled, lest their only son, see this old grammar, lest their only son should never learn to read and write. They could not teach him themselves, and they were too poor to send him to school. Oh, that's, that's sad. Um, Charles called at the... Yeah, this video's getting long. I should probably end this, but I'll do this if you guys, for whatever reason, want to finish reading this. Just thought I'd, you know, whatever. This is 135 years ago. Ooh, that little try. Just think. 136, probably, because this is a print-off, definitely the original version. Somebody would have been sitting down, taking a pen and just sketching this. 